All right, time now for another look at the forecast. We won't tell you where that train goes. You'll have to find out for yourself. Oh, Scary probably, stuff. probably through the cemetery. That's that's what I'm guessing. <laughs> that's where it kind of goes. Yeah. And, you know, a, a setting like this is is perfect with the weather. You know, kind of gloomy, yeah. a little bit drizzly, very. Halloween, perfect night. If that's a word. <laughs> perfect night for an evening stroll through the graveyard. <laughs> the graveyard. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. Uh, unfortunately, it'd be a wet stroll. Yeah, as bring you your mentioned. umbrella. Yeah. Bring the umbrella. We got rain in the area. You could see it there. On the radar presentation, most of that rainfall is moving through. Well, it looks like it's moving through sections of Madison County and into Washington County right now, just scraping portions of Benton County. Everybody else are mostly dry, a little bit into the mountains of northern Franklin County seeing that rain. Out there right now in Fayetteville, it's all lit up, but things are, uh, the rain is to your north, I believe, just barely to your north. 64 uh, today in Fayetteville, two degrees below the average, which is 66 at this time of year. Look at our average low all the way down to 41 already. Fort Smith roads are drying out. We got the 63 today. Let me back that up. We struggled to get to 63 today, well below the average, which is at 71. Right now across Northwest Arkansas, we're parked in the mid 50s uh, on average. River Valley, upper 50s. Do we have any 60s still hanging around? I don't see that yet. Yeah, I checked on Lamar. Uh, they're at 58, but temperatures will rebound over the next five days. Still, you know, chilly tomorrow, but by the time we get into next week, uh, lower 70s and uh, even making a run at the mid 70s here uh, by Thursday. In the River Valley, uh, warmer creeping up into the upper 70s by the time we get to Thursday here, but unfortunately that will, that, those warmer temperatures will come with increased rain chances. There's a look at that area of low pressure throwing the rain our way. The worst of the rain well to our north across the south central sections of Missouri about to move into the St. Louis area. We're left with some remnant showers and uh, maybe a rumble of thunder or two, but they'll continue to kind of fall apart as we go through the overnight hours and into tomorrow morning. Tomorrow most likely will not be a fun day. Lots of clouds, probably some more mist hanging around in the morning, patchy drizzle. It really won't be until we get toward Monday morning when we can finally push the rain out of here and set up a very nice Halloween 2022. Low to mid 50s tonight. Temperatures tomorrow will go almost nowhere. Lower 60s and upper 60s. Uh, maybe we get a very brief peak of sun in the River Valley, but I highly doubt it. So Halloween on Monday. No problems if you're taking the kids trick or treating. Uh, it will be chilly though. By the time trick or treating starts, we'll probably be in the, I would say lower 50s. Tuesday, plenty of clouds around. By the time we get to next weekend, we're watching the potential for more rain and perhaps heavy, steady rain to roll in here uh, by the time we get to next week. And next weekend does not look uh, that fun as well, Paul. And next weekend, don't forget, folks, next weekend we are turning the clocks back, which is just a great thing to say. Get that hour of sleep. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the dark evenings, but it happens every year, right? All